abnormal uterine bleeding. What can period blood really tell you about your health? There's a saying in medical communities that the period is the fifth vital sign. What does that really mean? It's mostly meant to encourage healthcare providers to ask about and consider menstrual history when diagnosing and treating patients. It doesn't mean that someone without a period is dead, like it would mean if someone didn't have a pulse. It's meant to use period history as a helpful indicator of overall health status, extending beyond the categories of just reproductive health. Irregular periods can raise suspicion for conditions like insulin resistance, diabetes, thyroid disorders, other autoimmune conditions, and more. Absent periods can raise concern for brain issues, including tumors or abnormal growth of the pituitary gland, chromosomal abnormalities, and more. Heavy and prolonged periods can be signs of bleeding disorders, connective tissue issues, vascular abnormalities, and more. If we ignore the menstrual period, especially in routine healthcare encounters, we forfeit a valuable opportunity to improve our diagnostic care and our health management. So what else can period blood tell you? Femtech startup companies are now finding ways to use period blood as an alternative to blood draws. They found that period blood can be used to test for things like creatinine, cholesterol, and even hemoglobin A1C. This is early, but super exciting for those who may have needle phobias or wish to avoid unnecessary pinpricks and blood draws. Lastly, what does period blood color really mean? Can I be honest? It's not that interesting. Light pink typically means the blood is diluted with cervical mucus or vaginal discharge. Bright red means fresh blood or new blood that hasn't been outside of the uterus or the body long enough to be oxidized or broken down yet. Dark red blood is blood that has been oxidized. Blood that is oxidized is exposed to oxygen and has reacted to it. That reaction leads to the breakdown of hemoglobin. When hemoglobin is broken down or oxidized, it is changed to methemoglobin, and its heme compound, which is the compound that makes blood red, is changed as well. Methemoglobin is darker and cannot carry oxygen. Oxidized blood is different from blood that has oxygen bound to it. When oxygen is bound to blood, it absorbs blue-green light, which means that it reflects red-orange light into our eyes, appearing red. This is also why our arterial blood is bright red in color, and venous blood that has no oxygen bound is darker in color. Now, moving on. Dark brown blood is blood that has been oxidized a little bit more than just dark red blood. Black blood is blood that's been oxidized the most. Blood is blood and will behave as such. Moreover, it's irresponsible to tell you that you have low estrogen or are experiencing a miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy based on your blood alone. We as physicians don't make these diagnoses without gathering much more information, and I wouldn't recommend that you diagnose yourself either. In summary, period blood can tell us a lot. The frequency, character, and amount of bleeding can inform us about risks for other conditions. Period blood can now be tested in labs to allow for the reporting of things like creatinine level, cholesterol, and hemoglobin A1C. Period blood color, however, is not really specific enough to diagnose a condition, but characteristics about period blood, along with a detailed history and physical exam, can be used to form diagnoses and guide medical management. I hope that helps.